Welcome back, folks. The Arkansas Storm Team is interrupting programming on both Channel 4 and 16 here at 1 a.m. to bring you another update on what's currently happening across the natural state, where we have been tracking over the last couple of hours here. Some strong to severe thunderstorms and even a few tornado warnings. We're not looking at any tornado warnings at this time, mind you, but we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect until 1.30 in the morning, and this is for Faulkner and White counties and the reason being is because we could be dealing with uh, wind speeds up to 60 miles per hour and only penny size hill so the reason why the severe thunderstorm warning was activated was because of those wind speeds exceeding the 58 mile per hour criteria of which when those are activated now this is moving off towards the northeast at 45 miles per hour and this is an r dot camera if somebody can kind of tell me exactly where this is yeah, looking at here they actually sent a live look out at conway right now we're actually we did see a few hail reports like you said only penny size about a quarter inch in diameter, but just outside UCA, there were a few reports and pictures sent to us via social media. So we are seeing uh, some hail with that storm, even if it is that is uh, just along Faulkner and White County in effect until 1.30 this morning. So you can see out there pretty heavy rain. I heard a lot of lightning too out there as well. A slick roadway. So definitely dealing with a, a pretty strong storm moving through the uh, White Faulkner County area right now. Yeah, and uh, Kelly, if you can, let's go into velocity mode and zoom in a little bit on this and kind of explain the reason why behind we do have those 60 mile per hour winds. Starting to see just a little bit of a Boeing in this part of these thunderstorms here. Overall, the pattern has been fairly weak with this entire lineup, but we've had those brief momentary time periods of where these strong storms have been able to beef up enough to have these warnings being issued here. But you see there's a little bit of a bow here, and that's where we're seeing maybe those higher wind speeds occurring as that works its way through. Yes, towns like Valonia, you're going to see uh, potentially wind speeds up to 60 miles per hour here pretty soon. I uh, know already starting to feel the effects of that, but as we continue to work our way out of Faulkner County and into White County, we'll likely see some of this uh, working its way through Floyd and also Joy here. So kind of those rural town areas and uh, not going to see this very long, though. It's moving pretty quickly off towards the northeast at 40 miles per hour. Again, a severe thunderstorm warning uh, in effect until 1.30 in the morning, given the fact that we are watching these quick wind speeds here. Now, Kelly, let's zoom in a little bit more up here to where it says 107 on the roadmap there. I just kind of want to see what's happening there uh, with regards to uh, what we were kind of paying a little bit more close attention to in velocity mode, and that was uh, a little bit of a coupling that was happening there as a uh, thunderstorm maybe merging in with a southern end. Let's move up a little bit more towards the north here and kind of check this out. Uh, maybe a little bit of a concern here, but overall that looks to stay remaining pretty broad. Uh, watched some of that circulation there earlier, but it's really not had the ability to form all that much. So still going to watch that closely, but for the most part, nothing uh, concerning at this time with it. But overall, as that continues to move off towards the uh, northeast at 40, those wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour will be possible. Also, on top of some heavy rainfall, and of course, as Kelly noted, as we were looking at the RDOT camera, a lot of lightning with this. So if you are waking up wondering what's going on in your neighborhood, we are looking at a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Faulkner and White County. Let's zoom back out real quick and kind of give everybody a better perspective of what's happening across the natural state. Really just focus focusing on this portion of the line that's kind of weakly organized at this time that's north of Little Rock here. But we've got a broken line, really, kind of uh, one section from Mountain Home to Heber Springs, another one kind of forming from Heber Springs down towards uh, Garland and Hot Spring counties. And then we've got some uh, weakly clustered thunderstorms down uh, across far southern sections of the state. As this line continues to move eastward, it's getting some better traction and moving a little bit faster here. Uh, it's really going to get pushed into an environment that may not be quite as suitable for maintaining that stronger, severe status which is good news here, but we are still looking at this time that possibility for it to tap in to some of that environment that would help give it that severe status, and one of which we're seeing just north of Little Rock. Uh, we do have that tornado watch that's in effect until 4 a.m., and that does include all of central Arkansas, including White County, and we're watching that severe thunderstorm warning at this time. Doesn't look like it's going to be conducive, but we're just watching those strong winds at 60 miles per hour there, and it could cause some problems there. 60 mile per hour winds could snap a few trees. It could uh, peel back some tin roofs, things like that, so we're watching that one very closely, but you can see there's some tornado watches on the back end of this system where that line's already pushed through. The National Weather Service, as it allows, is starting to trim back some of those counties there, but at this time we haven't seen any more of those uh, taken back. But we're watching the last of the uh, boxes here or counties that are under that tornado watch, seeing that line of showers and thunderstorms moving through at this time. 
only one warning in effect at the moment, and that is that severe thunderstorm warning until 1.30 in the morning. And we are here on Channel 4 and 16. Uh, myself, meteorologist Hayden Nix with Kelly DeBeck and also the rest of the Arkansas Storm Team. Keith Mon uh, Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan, Jeff Baskin, and also Pat Walker um, is uh, all here watching this. Yeah, we're all here watching, uh, keeping an eye out on things. We're checking the RDOT cameras as well. Like you said, we just saw that view in Conway where they're seeing the heavy rain. And again, with this line of storms we're watching right now, the tornado threat is fairly low. We're really just focusing on those strong and damaging wind gusts, seeing a uh, wind gust 60 miles per hour plus, and a lot of reports of very heavy winds in the Conway area, UCA getting reports of hail, also getting reports of some power outages as well. Okay. About 2,500 customers without electricity at this time, according to Entergy's website. Uh, gusty winds moving through that uh, I-40 corridor, starting to see a little bit of that being uh, pinged up on the Faulkner County uh, area. Also, a little bit back westward towards Russellville as that line initially formed. And, and check out down towards um, Hot Springs and uh, Clark County near Arkadelphia. Uh, good cluster power outages there, likely from those stronger thunderstorms that just rolled through there earlier. Uh, haven't actually had had a lot of reports this evening with the uh, most recent uh, thunderstorm warnings and the tornado warnings that we had uh, a couple hours ago at this time. Uh, but we did have well early into the evening that tornado warning near uh, Sebastian and also Franklin County that posed an issue with uh, damage at the Huntington, Arkansas Water Department there. So they're going to likely assess and see what ends up being the case with that. But so far, uh, as we continue on through this evening, the uh, intensity of this has really started to trim back. That's that's right, and I'm sure as we wake up in the morning with more people asleep in their homes, we'll find out if there's any more damage, especially from that storm up there with the stronger winds up near the Conway area. Already getting those power outages as well, heavy rain. Uh, but right now, really, that's all we're dealing with. It's just that severe thunderstorm warning uh, in effect for the next 20 minutes or so uh, for White and Faulkner County. Yeah, that's going to wrap it up right now for the Arkansas Storm Team. But if anything does change, we'll make sure to break right back into programming. But for now, just one severe thunderstorm warning active active at this time for Faulkner and White County until 1.30 in the morning. We'll likely come back on the air at 1.30 to give you another update and assess what's going on across the natural state. We are the Arkansas Storm Team.